In this video, you learn about the package level access modes in object oriented ABL. In previous releases, the available access modes in an object oriented ABL class were public, private, and protected. Now, OpenEdge introduces two new access modes package private and package protected. ABL packages are used to categorize classes and interfaces, provide for easier maintenance, promote reusability, and now with the introduction of these new access modes, provide package level protection to class data members, methods, properties, constructors, and events. In this diagram, there are two packages, package one and package two. Class A and class B are in package one. They are distinct classes that do not inherit from one another. Class C is in package two. Class C is a subclass that inherits class A. We'll now describe the access to the members in Class A. Public members have no restrictions and can be accessed by anyone, including classes that inherit the class, classes in the same package, or any class. Private members can only be accessed from within the class itself. Protected members can be accessed from within the class and from within any subclass that inherits the class. Package private members are like private but they can also be accessed by a class in the same package. Package protected members are like protected, but they can also be accessed by a class in the same package. In this example, class B can access the members of class A that are defined as public, package private, and package protected. Class C can access the members of class A that are defined as public, protected, and package protected, it has access to the protected and package protected members through inheritance. It doesn't have access to the package private method in Class A because it's not in the same package as Class A. We'll now look at an example in Progress Developer Studio. In this project, we have two packages, Package 1 and Package 2. Class A and Class B are in Package 1, and Class C is in Package 2. Let's take a closer look at Class A. Within Class A, we defined five methods, each one with a different access mode. We gave the methods descriptive names to indicate which access mode is being used. Note that even though this example uses methods, you can also apply the access modes to properties, data members, constructors, and events. Now let's look at Class B. Class B is also in Package 1. Note that even though Class B does not inherit Class A, it should still be able to access some of the methods defined in Class A. In our test method, we instantiate a new package1.classA object and name it test object. By typing test object followed by a colon, we see which of the methods are available to the object. Here we see three methods from Class A. Package private method, package protected method, and public method. Now let's look at Class C. Class C is in Package 2, but it's a subclass that inherits Package 1.Class A. Through inheritance, we can access the package protected method and protected method from Class A. The public method from Class A is always available since it's public. By using these package level access modes in your code, you'll be able to expand the usefulness of your ABL packages. This concludes our look at package level access modes in object-oriented ABL.